Sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, may I know your good name? Shiva, sir. Yeah, Shiva. Can I have your resume? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Shiva, quickly introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. I am Shiva from Ijawada. Okay. I completed my B.Tech in D.V. and Drop Express in the College of Technology in the year of 2022 with yep. a CGP of 7.86 and I completed my diploma in the same college that is D.V. and Drop Express in the College of Technology in the year of 2018 with a percentage of 80. And coming to my 10th standards, I am completed my 10th standards in Repetis High School in my village. And coming to my family, we have four members including me, father, mother, me and my sister. And my coming to my students, I am a quick learner and I am a hard working person. And coming to my hobbies, uh, drawing and learning new things and browsing the internet. And my short term goal is to get a job in the printed company. And my long term goal is to get a good position in my company and place a good position in my company where I like to join. Yeah, okay. That's all about me, sir. Yeah, uh, that's fine. That's a great introduction. And uh, yeah, you mentioned that you have a skills like Java. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, so yeah, uh, actually, I'm going with the basics of Java questions. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay, fine. So, first of all, what is Java? Java. Java is a high level programming language and it is a multi platform and object oriented and it is a uh, network consequent language programming, sir. And it is a user platform in itself. It is a simple language. If you know the English and you have easily read, write the Java programming code or language by using Java sir. Yeah, okay, fine. And you said that Java is a platform independent. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So tell me Shiva, why the Java is platform independent? Java is a platform independent because by its execution process or by its architecture, sir. Mainly consisting of a translator, okay. two translators sir. First translator name as a compiler and second translator name as interpreter. Compiler, coming to compiler, compiler it is mainly in that it, it checks the syntax of a Java program and it converts the Java program into bytecode sir. And coming to the interpreter, it, it converts the, the bytecode language into the binary language because Mission language. Uh, mission language. The mission knows the only binary language, zeros and ones, sir. Yeah. Okay. That's why I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, binary language. Interpreter not only converts, sir. It also uh, display the output uh, to the mission or uh, computer, sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So you said that. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, what is uh, in your in your sense? What is meant by platform? Platform independent means. Uh, it uh, does not depend on other sir. Uh, so Shiva, you need to say operating system. Uh, operating Platform system. is nothing but yeah. operating system. Yeah, what is that? So you said that interpreter, interpreter. What is that interpreter? Interpreter is a... It converts the... Like what is Java interpreter? In Java, which one we can say it is an interpreter? Translator too, sir. Uh, so actually you are getting the answer, but you need to say JVM. It's a Java it's virtual mission. Sir. JVM is the... Uh, yeah, okay, so we are going one flow. So let me tell you said that JVM. So what is the difference between JDK and JRE and JVM? The, the main thing was the Java virtual JDK, Java, Java development kit, sir. In that Java development kit, the, there is a four uh, principles that are cloud platforms that is uh, uh, JRE, Java runtime environment, and uh, uh, JVM Java virtual machines and tools that is compiler, interpreter and the library coming to the uh, JRE Java runtime error, runtime environment you can run the code or uh, you can write the code in that environment sir that is uh, JRE and Java virtual machine Java virtual machine in, in order to write a code and it loads Java virtual machine is used to and the main thing that it loads and it verifies and it executes the byte code sir that is a J Java virtual machine sir yeah, fine. And so let me tell. So JDK is how we uh, we can install the JDK or JRE or JV. Only JDK, sir. Java development kit is a software in, 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 to install in your uh, machines or laptops. Yeah, okay. So fine. And uh, 
Which version of Java is a uh, standard edition? Sir, coming to that, version 1.0 and 1.1 are uh, named as a Java development kit, sir. And version 1.2 and 1.4 are in the uh, standard version. Uh, yes, sorry, which one? J2SE. Okay. That is Java 2 standard edition, sir. That is and a version. You can say the version name. It is 8. Okay. And yes, sir. So, which one it is? 8. eight. Yes, sir. So, Java 8 is the standard version. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, fine. And Yashiva, so coming to that, what are the features we have in Java? Sir, first of all, Java is a high level programming language. It is an object oriented language, sir. And it is a platform independent. And it is a secure language. Yes. And it is a robust. Yes. And it is, a, it is a having a multi thread, sir. Yes, sir. Java is multi threaded, sir. That is the feature. Yes. Simple also you can uh, simply you can simply understand the language. Sir. Yeah, okay, fine. Yes, sir. And uh, can you explain just uh, formal in architecture of Java? Just not about the throughout things, just basic things. How it will be converted step by step? Architecture of Java. The architecture of Java mainly consisting of a translator one by translator one, translator two, sir. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, translator one is name as a compiler. Yeah, okay. And translator two name as a interpreter. Yeah, okay. And translator one, first of all, you have to write the Java program. Mm -hmm. The compiler checks the syntax and okay. checks the grammar mistakes. Any have that uh, that checks the syntax syntax, syntax, syntax okay. of a Java program and it can converts Java program into the bytecode sir by using compiler mm -hmm. and the command of a compiler to call the uh, Java C. Okay, mm -hmm. command command program you have to execute that program. Java compiler. Java compiler. And coming to the interpreter, sir. Interpreter is a converts the one bytecode language to machine language, or that is binary language, zeros and ones. Yeah. Okay. The interpreter and machine will uh, execute the program, sir. Basically. Yeah. Okay, Shiva. Uh, let me ask one thing. So, are you writing some programs in Notepad? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, what is the extension of Java file? Java file, sir. Means how we can save the Java files? By using dot Java extension, sir. So we need to use dot Java as dot Java extension. To save. And okay, fine. Uh, yeah, Shiva, like initially you told that Java contains loops. Yes, sir. So loops. what is meant by the loops? Loops means object oriented, object oriented program, sir. Okay. Main main four principles are there, sir. First is uh, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction sir. The advantages of loops are uh, is a reliability and a reusability and it is easy to troubleshooting sir. And secure. Uh, secure troubleshooting and it is uh, that sir the advantages. Yeah okay fine. Uh, yeah. So okay tell me this is the basic one. What is the data type? Data types. You have to create a memory block and to store the data sir. Yeah. And uh, basically, how many types of data types we have in Java? Two types, sir. What are the primitive data types and non primitive data types, sir? Can you name the primitive data types? Yes, sir. Primitive data types are uh, int, float, string, string, long, short, uh, double, boolean, cat. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, that's a correct answer. So, I need to give one suggestion. So, basically, when you are explaining the data types, you need to go with the sequence. Ah, yeah, sequence. So, low to high. Like, first yeah. one you need to say boolean. Yeah. And second one you sir, need to say byte. Sir. First, first there are there are four types of byte. First one into four types, sir. Yeah. Integers, floating, as the single statement, the two are parts, sir. Yeah. First uh, integers uh, coming the integers, byte, short, int, long, sir. These are the integers, sir. Yeah, and okay. floating, sir. Float, double. These are the the, the float, sir. Floating and single character, sir. Cap and uh, two are parts of sir uh, boolean. Yeah. These are the primitive data types, sir. Yeah. Uh, yes, Shiva. That's good. And uh, so finally, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all about my. End. You have any queries to ask? No, sir. Yeah. Fine. And yeah. Uh, that's all about this interview, Shiva. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. you can. Okay.